Before we dive into the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It represents the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can recreate the very conditions of the universe's birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. It's a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just one part of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a racetrack, not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles in a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the core of the sun thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as colossal cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer clues to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unlock forces we cannot control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to explain the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pradvino, Russia, a malfunction led to his head accidentally coming into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Borsky's experience was otherworldly. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone, yet he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, 
leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, astonishingly, Borsky's intellectual capabilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the very fabric of space and time being manipulated, these are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. One of the most alarming and captivating concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking to both the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Though scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly, the mere possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It has to do with the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched taut and then a heavy weight is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and curves, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. That's a simplistic metaphor for what could happen in the LHC. In the world of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. This enigmatic dance of particles has even caught the attention of some world-famous scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would not only destroy the Earth but the entire universe itself. The esteemed British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future prospects for humanity, he explored the potential risks associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were not merely cautionary, they were tinged with a sense of existential dread. He spoke of a worst-case scenario where an ill-fated experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability could, in theory, trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rees's concerns were not limited to theoretical musings. He assigned a probability to these catastrophic outcomes, albeit a low one. But even a minuscule chance, he argued, should give us pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run the simulations, and examined the theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration, recognizing that there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He emphasized that there are rigorous safety measures in place, extensive reviews and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost care. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so tiny and so unstable that it would evaporate in a flash of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, a glimpse into the abyss and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This notion, though largely dismissed by the scientific community, has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not understand? 
The idea of opening a portal to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, adding fuel to the fire of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be, and what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as a cosmic key unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples or tears in the fabric of spec. A time, giving us a glimpse into these hidden dimensions. It's this idea that has sparked both awe and fear. It's not just the possibility of creating black holes that haunts us. It's the potential for opening the door to the unknown. As we venture further into the realm of particle physics, we are faced with profound questions about our place in the cosmos. Will we be able to control what we discover? And more chillingly, will we be able to close the door once it's been opened? The announcement made by Brian Cox about the LHC's goal to recreate a mini Big Bang should be a moment of scientific triumph. But as with all great advancements, it comes with its share of risks and uncertainties. With each new discovery, we inch closer to the edge of the unknown. In this quest for knowledge, we must remain vigilant and cautious, for the greatest discoveries are often those that leave us questioning whether we should have looked at all. As Brian Cox's announcement about the LHC's goal to recreate a mini Big Bang resonates throughout the scientific community, it serves as both a beacon of achievement and a source of existential reflection. The ambition to simulate conditions similar to the birth of our universe, to peer into the very origins of space, time, and matter, is an extraordinary leap in human exploration. But as we reach further into the cosmos, we must confront the profound responsibility that comes with such power. The LHC is a technological marvel, a symbol of humanity's ingenuity. Its purpose is not merely to probe the fabric of the universe, but to unlock the hidden symmetries and mysteries that govern everything we know. By smashing particles together at unprecedented speeds, scientists can study the fundamental forces and particles that shape the universe from the Higgs boson to dark matter. However, each experiment, no matter how carefully controlled, comes with unknown variables and unforeseen risks. The fear of inadvertently triggering a cataclysmic event, such as the creation of a stable black hole or the collapse of the quantum vacuum, reflects deep-seated anxieties about the unintended consequences of scientific discovery. While the chances of such a disaster are exceedingly small, the implications of even a small risk are terrifying. The world has already witnessed the devastation that human actions can have, from environmental crises to the atomic bomb, and now, the fear is that we may be playing with forces that are simply too vast for us to comprehend or control. In addition to the potential dangers of the LHC, there's the ongoing philosophical question. What is the cost of knowledge? Are we willing to face the consequences of probing too deeply into the fabric of reality? of possibly unearthing forces that were meant to remain hidden? What if, in our quest to understand the universe, we trigger a chain of events that spiral beyond our control? In the pursuit of scientific progress, it is crucial to balance curiosity with caution. While the LHC has brought us closer to understanding the fundamental components of nature, it has also prompted us to reconsider the ethical implications of tampering with the very building blocks of existence. Moreover, the idea of opening portals to other dimensions, whether by accident or design, introduces a speculative but fascinating concept that stretches beyond the realm of hard science. Could the collision of particles at such high energies rip open the fabric of space-time, potentially linking our universe to others, or even exposing us to entirely new forms of existence or unknown forces? The very possibility raises terrifying yet tantalizing questions about the nature of reality itself. Are we truly prepared to deal with what might lie on the other side? Or have we already reached a point of no return in our pursuit of knowledge? At the same time, it is important to note the reassurances of scientists involved in the LHC's experiments. They have repeatedly stated that the safety protocols and thorough risk assessments conducted at CERN ensure the utmost caution. The likelihood of a catastrophic event is minuscule, they argue, and the energy levels involved, although extraordinary, 
are well within the range of what is naturally encountered in cosmic collisions, such as those that occur in the high-energy environments of stars and supernovae. In short, while the LHC might create conditions that are extreme by human standards, they are not unprecedented in the grand scope of the universe. Nonetheless, the perception of risk remains. The allure of scientific advancement is balanced by the ever-present question of whether we are pushing too far, too fast. As we stand on the precipice of this new era in scientific discovery, the need for transparent discussion, thoughtful regulation, and careful consideration of the ethical and existential risks associated with the LHC becomes even more critical. Should we continue to expand the boundaries of knowledge? Or is there a point where humanity must step back and consider the consequences of its actions? These questions are not easily answered, and the tension between scientific curiosity and caution will remain a central theme in the future of particle physics. In the end, the work being done at CERN is a testament to the limitless nature of human curiosity and our drive to understand the universe. But with great knowledge comes great responsibility. The same forces that allow us to unlock the mysteries of the cosmos also possess the potential to change everything, from the very structure of space-time to the fate of our world. We must approach this frontier not with hubris but with humility, aware of the vast unknowns that lie ahead. The next chapter in the LHC's experiments promises to be as thrilling as it is perilous. As we delve deeper into the microcosm, we cannot ignore the larger questions that arise. What happens when we explore the boundaries of the universe? What happens when we take risks that could either transform humanity or wipe it out entirely? Perhaps, like every great journey of discovery, we must come to terms with the reality that some questions may be better left unanswered, or, at the very least, pondered with great care and reflection. And so, as Brian Cox and his colleagues continue their work at CERN, the world watches with awe, fascination, and a hint of fear. What lies ahead in our quest to recreate the Big Bang? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The search for knowledge is an uncharted journey, one that may one day lead us to the very edge of existence itself.